The vision to have the ranch run as a tourism and conservation enterprise as well as a working ranch has always been there from the beginning. In the late 90s, we formed a company, and that's where the vision of Loy Saba was born. A holistic principle of wildlife and business running together, and the output being conservation for this crucial elephant corridor that Loy Saba forms such an integral part of. Through a friend, Max Graham of Space for Giants, we managed to get into the Nature Conservancy and get them interested in Loy Saba. With funding from the Nature Conservancy, the ownership transferred from a private individual landowner to a community trust called Loy Saba Community Trust. And that meant that it was now going to be enshrined and protected for conservation forever. Loy Saba provides this stable and safe home for some critical species in the landscape. I think we have you know, more than 50 species of mammal, close to 300 species of bird. And we're home to endangered species like the, the gravy zebra, reticulated giraffe, wild dog. Overriding all of that is the elephant conservation. And, and you know, we do believe that if you can provide enough space and wilderness for megafauna like elephant, then a lot of the little stuff falls in behind it. Integrated in the Loisaba is, is an anti-poaching team uh, that's led by our two sniffer dogs, Warrior and Machine. They're American bloodhounds with incredible sense of smell. The challenge for elephant poaching and, and the conflict between wildlife and the humans is obviously going to only get worse as populations increase and we need to make sure that we have a good, active anti-poaching team. One of the things in our vision for Loisaba was that there must be a, a, a real interaction between our guests and the landscape. We have this incredible site where the Loisaba Tented Camp is with a view that stretches hundreds of miles south towards Mount Kenya. We also have the unique Kiboko star beds. You effectively sleep out under the stars. Arriving at Loisaba, you can spend three, four, five days here and do something different every single day. We try and recruit as much as possible within the local communities. I think Kenya has you know, 48 different tribes and a number of those are represented within our staff base, which is also important. We've invested heavily over time into the school at the Waso Primary School. We've built classrooms, boarding accommodation, we've employed teachers. There's still a real role for places like Louis Saba Conservancy to make sure that there's a connection between conservation and wildlife and better quality standard of it. The working ranch creates employment, it creates you know, part of the food chain for, for Kenya. We really have to be mindful that large tracts of land need to be relevant and need to be productive. And there has to be some sort of contribution to, to feeding people. For the suburb to survive and achieve its aims and continue to be a sanctuary for wildlife and people, it's really important that visitors keep coming absolutely crucial for elephants and for the wildlife that make Loy Saba its home, that it continues to exist and continues to be supported and important on a national and global scale. <laughs>